Joining me now for reaction, former Speaker of the House and Fox News contributor, Newt Gingrich. So Speaker Gingrich, I, I couldn't believe we got into this much trouble so fast. Do you think Joe Biden has the tools in the toolkit to recognize the problems and fix them? Did the brains all kind of just drip out sometime over the last 20 years? I think that Biden is, has very limited capacity to understand and to decide and to articulate. I mean, just watch him. Uh, but he's also trapped because the left, on almost every one of these issues, uh, sees the world in a way that doesn't work. I mean, it's as though somebody came rushing in and said, I've got a great new idea for uh, making hot coffee. We'll put it in the freezer. Uh, you could figure out pretty soon that ain't going to work. So take crime. Did the brains all kind of just drip out sometime over the last 20 years? We know the Dinkins and liberals failed. We know that Giuliani succeeded. So what's the answer? Well, the answer when New York has a 200% increase in crime in one year is drop everything Giuliani did that worked and keep everything that Dinkins and the liberals did that failed. And you have to say, what did they think was going to happen? Uh, I, I think the pipeline problem is a much deeper problem in that we just paid $5 million to a criminal organization to recruit more people to, to rob more places. Uh, and the hacking uh, is, is really a threat to our entire civilization because of the degree to which we all rely now uh, on things that are more effective. ATM machines are great. What happens if the Chinese close them down? Uh, it's terrific to be able to go pump gas. What happens if a Russian hacking group just closes off the gas pumps? Uh, you can go through all of these things. There is no evidence that, that anybody in the federal government has any real appreciation. We, 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 we've done little fixes and bandages and what have you. This is a much deeper crisis. Did the brains all kind of just drip out sometime over the last 20 years? Great hackers don't work for bureaucracies. And so we, we have to rethink our entire approach to, to the hacking question. As to the economy, I, I have to say, this feels more like Jimmy Carter than I would have thought possible. Uh, and I think maybe it was the gas lines that were the final breakthrough. Uh, you think about it, you're getting stagflation, which is what they called it uh, when Carter was president. That's when you have stagnant jobs and inflation at the same time. Uh, Reagan put that together into a misery index. He added the unemployment number and the inflation number. And the, hit, the underlying inflation numbers are, are stunning. Uh, at, a, at a minimum, the highest rate of inflation since 1982, and at a maximum, maybe even higher than that uh, because of the way they keep score. Now, you said something that's really important I want to build on, and that is, did the brains all kind of just drip out sometime over the last 20 years? Inflation is a hidden tax. The real Biden tax is this inflation, and it's making every American poorer. You're about 4% poorer than you were a year ago because the dollar doesn't buy as much. Uh, and so when Biden says he's not going to tax anybody under $400,000, no, as long as you don't buy gasoline, you don't buy electricity, you don't buy food, you don't pay for a house, I um, mean, go down the list of everything you're paying for because it's all being inflated. And I think that, that's a key part of this. One, one last thing. The, the idiots who think that electric vehicles are a solution to the cost of fuel forget that at the other end of the line, you have to make the electricity. So you're either going to use coal, which China is right. doubling down on and building many more coal plants. You're going to use nuclear. You're going to use solar, you're going to use wind, you're going to use oil or gas. You're going to use something. But it's not like, you know, Tesla emerges from heaven and angels drive it around for you. I mean, not only do you have to pay the founder of Tesla, you got to pay for the electricity every single day. Uh, and and uh, I think that that's where you, you have to wonder, you know, do, do these people, did the brains all kind of just drip out sometime over the last 20 years? Well, what are we dealing with? <laughs>